Uh, we're here for our third measurement of the year here at the Phillips Station Snow Course, which is our March measurement. So for our results here today at the Phillips Station Snow Course, uh, we recorded a snow depth of 29 inches and a snow water content of 11.5 inches. That results in a 47% of an average March and 46% of the April 1 average here at this location. Uh, we always refer to that April 1 snow metric because in terms of snow water content, that's typically when the snowpack is at its peak. Um, and that's the, the crucial number that we as water managers always, are always looking at. Um, in comparison to our automated uh, snow sensor network, our statewide snowpack is currently at 46% of average to date um, as of this morning. So right in line with what we're seeing here today. February rain and snow were uh, quite disappointing and we didn't quite get the results we had hoped for. Uh, so we'll most likely end this water year with uh, below average. We just don't know how far below. Uh, this February will most likely end up as the driest February in the northern Sierra on record, dating back 100 years to 1921. The snowpack out here provides us a good indication and a snapshot of our potential water supply conditions for the year. Uh, the snowpack itself is like a reservoir, and during the spring months into early summer, we see that snow melt come into our reservoirs to add additional storage. Currently, our state's uh, main and major uh, water supply reservoirs are currently near or at uh, historic averages right now, thanks to last year's wet water year. And uh, our current water supply forecast coming out of the, our uh, snow surveys and water supply forecasting team are running anywhere between 50 to 70% of average.